This is uh, Edward. Edward's going to help me tell a story. Aren't you, little guy? That's right. So, yeah, winging it. Uh, I kind of live for winging it. Something that didn't really uh, kind of hit me just the other day. Uh, it's happening right now, which is exciting. Um, <laughs> flying by the seat of your pants. I, I realized I live for those moments. Um, though I've also prepared for today. So, you know, Tom. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm a showman um, of various kinds. I do all kinds of shows in all kinds of places. This is a new one. Um, I'm always trying to find a way to make the unexpected happen uh, in a show. And I kind of came about that through working with trash, which is my other great love, something I do on my own, kind of a meditative thing. Uh, these are some of my orphans, made of orphans, uh, from my home for creepy things. Everybody needs a place in this world. This is Sally. Uh, I also have a puppet troupe, so I got tired of doing it, so I'm making things that do it for me. Um, so surprises, even just little ones inside this guy, little bird in there, he's cute. Um, inside this one, I like, so like peep shows, things that move, um, but all through working with what I've got. I always need something to, to start with. So I, like, I like problems, and I like solving them, and I like... Um, you know, making just uh, even a little bit of magic happen um, with something. I like to le like to show how how that got to happen. Um, even when I'm doing shows, uh, it's always like putting on the show is part of the show. Um, so working with what you got uh, with trash is also a way that I co-founded a theater company, Stars and Garters Theater Company. Good looking group. Um, me and my friend Jenny Joe Kristen were just writing a show. It started very simple. We had 12 poems about the constellations and no auditions. We just had friends would come up and say, you know, hey, you guys are writing a show? I want to be in it. And say, okay. Uh, and then some would say, but I'm, I'm not a performer. I don't act. You know, and we'd say, well, all right. Uh, well, you always got this sexy librarian thing going on, and, which is pretty tough to beat. And uh, we'll just write in a sexy librarian character. That's perfect. You'll be the ship librarian. That's hilarious. Uh, oh, you could be the narrator. That's perfect, you know. And then uh, someone else would come up and, um, and say, you know, I've got, uh, I've got a lot of bands and I really want to be in your show, but I don't have time to memorize lines, man. So he'd say, okay, that's fine. You're mute. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll make you speak through your instruments and you'll do live sound effects on stage. Yeah, next question. So what we ended up with uh, was a show that was really weird and fun. It was so much fun to do. It was the favorite show, favorite show of mine. I've done a couple hundred of all different kinds. Um, but people loved it. People would come back and see it two or three times, this like silly, ridiculous, you know, song-filled, fun show. Um, it was great. Things really changed for me, though, when I did this project, uh, The Swimming Cities. It was me and 30 other artists from uh, all over the country uh, put together rafts, we made rafts out of trash, and we motored them down the Hudson River into New York City and did shows along the way. I got to play another ship captain. I keep playing ship captains. I don't know why. Um, now I love ships. Um, and then we uh, took them apart. We shipped them to uh, Slovenia, put them back together, went across the Adriatic Sea, and went into Venice, and we did a show there and, uh, that I directed. And uh, this changed everything for me because the theater was gone. It was just the show, and uh, just the show kept going on and on. So, like it is right now. Um, point being, boats are a great place to know what you're, you know, how to get done, what you need uh, to get done with only what you've got, which is uh, kind of a credo that I live by. Um, and the point that I just want to make is that we. We spend a lot of time trying to get things that we think that we want. And a lot of times, we don't really know what we want. We get it, and it turns out it's not what we wanted. And what I've found is that working in this way, 
gets me something that, that, I, end, that I love. And uh, at least it makes for a better story, which really is all you have in the end. Isn't that right, Edward? <laughs> what? <laughs> you wrote a poem about it. <laughs> That's so unexpected. <clears throat> we'll be quick here. Please don't wash away the story, for it's all that I have left. Else you leave me with this body piled up atop this mess. It's true I've done some things poorly, but I rode in here on this horse. At least it was a pleasant visit, and I left an exquisite corpse. Thank you. Good job.